Welcome to Orlando Attractions Magazine, the show coming to you from Bush Gardens. This week I relive my childhood while visiting the Art of Warner Brothers exhibit. And then we take a behind the scenes tour of the Falcons Fury construction site. As always, we've got theme park news, travel tips, a new giveaway and more. And it's all happening right, right now. now. This week's show is brought to you by Theme Park Connection, where you can buy, sell, and trade Disney items. Visit their showroom in Orlando or online at themeparkconnection.com. Mouse Fan Travel is our preferred travel agent for theme parks, cruises, and exotic destinations. For a free quote with no obligation, visit mousefantravel.com. Undercover Tourist is our recommended supplier of online discount tickets to Disney World, Universal, and other Orlando area attractions. For the best deals and travel tips, go to UndercoverTourist.com or find them on Facebook and Twitter. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the show and welcome to Bush Gardens Tampa. I'm Banks. And I'm Jenny Lynn. I love our on-location shoot. I know, right? We get to talk about theme park news and hang out at the parks at the same time. It's like a dream come true. I hear ya, I hear ya. And getting to be at Busch Gardens is especially cool. It's just far enough away from home that we don't make it out here that often, but it's still a world-class park. All right, well, enough dilly-dallying. We're here to film our show in Busch Gardens, and we've yes. only made it past the turnstiles. We have our sunscreen, and we're ready to go. Gotcha. Now, are you ready to walk the park? Yes. Are you ready to film the best show ever? Yes! Are you ready to ride the front row of Shikra? Yeah! Oh, what? Wait, huh? Uh, nothing, nothing. Let's go! Wait, Banks! Can we talk about this? Now, before we get to the front row of Shikra. That is not going to happen. Yeah, sure thing. Jenny Lynn convinced me we should make our way here to the Zagora Cafe and dish out a little news in the queue. And since we're here at Bush Gardens, why don't we start off with some Bush Gardens news this week? Yes, now they have a couple of new shows they're offering guests. Behind me in the Marrakesh Theater, there's a show called Sensational. It's, think of it kind of like Glee and, and Pitch Perfect, where it's that acapella choral choir kind of feel. It's really popular with guests nowadays, and I'm glad to see that here. Yeah, and then over in the Desert Grill, they have their show Motor City Grooves, mm -hmm. which is a song and dance show that you can watch while you eat. Yeah, we'll have to check them out. But for some special entertainment, you'll want to be here this weekend as Bush Gardens kicks off their Bands, Brew, and Barbecue Festival with Jason Derulo in concert. The annual festival is now in its seventh year and offers special food, drinks, and music. Other musical acts this weekend include Dickie Beats and Great Southern and the Marshall Tucker Band. The concerts are free to guests. Special packages are available for purchase, which include VIP seating and unlimited sampling of food and drink. The festival runs every weekend, February 8th through March 9th. So for more information, visit bushgardens.com. I'm actually sad to say that I, I've yet to make it out here to Bush Gardens for one of their bands, Brew and Barbecue. I've been to the C1 and C World before, but I haven't gotten to go to the one here. And it just seems like a lot of fun. I'm a big fan of barbecue, so. Maybe this will be your year. This will be my year, <laughs> yes. Now also on tap for this weekend, Legoland is celebrating the release of the Lego Movie with special events. Activities include the Lego Movie scavenger hunt through Miniland USA, a Lego Movie video game challenge, the Lego Movie Mural Build and a Build Your Own World competition. Also on hand for meet and greets will be the stars of the Lego Movie, Emmett and Wild Style. Now I got to see a special screening of the movie last weekend uh, held by Legoland Florida and I loved it. It's such a really good family movie. Lots of really funny uh, jokes to it. A lot of stuff that people like me who grew up with Lego references the old Lego sets we had. Um, and also it's got really, some really nice heart in it. It's got a really nice message. Uh, you should really check it out when it opens. I know that my children love watching the Lego cartoons that are up on the Cartoon Network. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And my son even goes to YouTube and watches little um, stop action motion that, that things people that make people, themselves and yeah. he makes them his own his own self as well so it just seems like this is maybe something that's catching on and hopefully people will be flocking to Lego those Le Legos in general are for everyone <laughs> now, and for something we've all been waiting for select Disney pass holders have finally begun to receive their magic bands 
but I'm not one of them. Random pass holders have recently received emails, though, inviting them to be a part of the new system test and to claim their magic bands. When a pass holder is selected, they receive their band in the mail with an exclusive magic slider for pass holders, as well as a new discount card they'll use to access free parking and discounts. And uh, I, I really want that slider. I mean, I've got my magic band from a hotel stay, but I want that slider. Well, you'll be getting one, right? Eventually. Eventually. i got to wait for the email, but uh, I'm not in a hurry. Um, and let's let other people like you who haven't had a magic band yet get yours. Right? 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 <laughs> Use that Cheshire Cat okay. slider, Okay. Also from Disney this week, Doc McStuffins and Sophia the First have joined the cast of Disney Junior Play and Dine at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Guests will get the chance to meet Doc and Sophia and dance along with them during new musical numbers featuring songs from their respective TV shows. The duo joins Handy Manny, Jake from Jake and the Neverland. Land Pirates and the hosts Disney Junior Pals for breakfast and lunch at the Hollywood and Vine Restaurant Buffet in Hollywood Studios. I, I, I haven't seen any other of these shows so I don't know how popular these characters are with kids but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be watching a lot of them in the next year. I can tell you, <laughs> yes you will be, um, more than you bargained for, I can guarantee that. But, you know, with a new welcome comes a sad goodbye. The ZD Sisters at Epcot will be performing their last show on February 22nd. The ZD Sisters are a comedy troupe of five women who share the culture of Italy through music, dance, and humor. They've been performing in Italy at Epcot's World Showcase for the past several years, and I'm unfortunate to say I never saw them or actually even heard they were exist. <laughs> Didn't either. I, I feel bad because I know I've seen a lot of people saying, oh, I'm going to miss them, and I'm just like, I never even heard of them before this. <laughs> I'm going to miss them just because I never experienced them. <laughs> I, I, you always hate to see these really neat little small entertainments get cut um, and for, for some obvious reasons, some not so obvious reasons. And, you know, and also you feel bad for the performers. They're out of a job, but hopefully they'll be able to find some other things to do in the parks. We're going we're gonna to take those ZD sisters and uh, re-employ them elsewhere. There okay. you go. And finally this week, Super Bowl MVP Malcolm Smith of the Seattle Seahawks continued a magical tradition by going to Disney World for a special parade at the Magic Kingdom. Following the Seahawks' blowout win over the Broncos, Smith yelled the iconic phrase that has become a Super Bowl MVP tradition, I'm, I'm going, going to, to Disney, Disney World. World. <laughs> On Monday, he participated in a victory parade down Main Street, USA in front of Cheer guests of course now check out our YouTube channel for more footage from the event I was there it was a really really cool thing they had confetti blowing all down Main Street um <laughs> I, can, I got it I got to say it's it's in the video so it's no secret um the first when the throw, football was thrown to Malcolm the first throw didn't quite make it and hit the windshield of the car I'm not gonna say who threw it but I think <laughs> we know who <laughs> Hi everyone, for this week's Hidden Mickey, let's go to the Yacht Club, the Yacht Club lobby. There's a globe in the main lobby, it's usually there. Look for a blue classic Mickey at the bottom right hand corner of the sea monster, under the sea monster's head and below the island of Madagascar. If you can't find it, ask a nearby cast member, they'll point it out to you. The legend goes that somebody poked a hole in the globe with a pencil and the hole was covered with a blue Hidden Mickey patch. Isn't that cool? Located just minutes from Orlando International Airport, Theme Park Connection offers a wide variety of pins, props, figurines, artwork, signs, decor, cast member exclusives, and other one-of-a-kind finds. Looking to sell your old collectibles? Theme Park Connection will buy them from you. Visit their brand new warehouse in Orlando or find them online at themeparkconnection.com. You know, Jenny Lynn, I really think this part of Bush Gardens may become my new favorite. Sesame Street? Yeah, I mean, with a new baby on the way, I can see myself spending a lot of time in this part of the park. I mean, Sesame Street is very child friendly and teaches wonderful values. All right, well that makes sense. Do you want to know what I was raised on? What was that? Looney Tunes. Ah, that explains hitting me over the head with a bottle. <laughs> Let it go. This past week, I headed down to the Orange County Regional History Center to see their brand new Art of Warner Brothers exhibit. It didn't give you any new ideas for things to do to me, did it? Maybe. 
We are downtown at the Orange County Regional History Center for their latest exhibit, The Art of Warner Brothers Cartoons. Here we're going to get a look at the creative process behind some of America's most classic animation. So tell us, how did Warner Brothers come to the Orange County History Center? Well, this is a world-class traveling exhibition, and it's been around the world. Uh, we've had our eyes on it for quite a few years. We finally made a contract a few years ago to bring it here. We realized that this would be a great show for the Central Florida community. We all have our Warner Brothers memories. Those of us old enough to watch them in the 70s and 80s, on the Saturday morning cartoons. We just love them. And it's such a wonderful opportunity to bring this to Central Florida so we can all relive our youth and introduce the children who haven't seen them to Warner Brothers cartoons. And we're just so thrilled to have them here. And the exhibit's going to be running for a few weeks. Do you have any special activities that'll be going on in addition to the things that people can see, you know, here? Yes, the uh, exhibit runs through March 23rd. Uh, one of our great uh, events that we'll have is the first Saturday of both February and March, which happens to be the first of each of those months. It's Saturday morning cartoons. We're going to have in another room in the building a uh, huge uh, screen set up and just run cartoons. We're going to serve pancakes. You can even come in your pajamas as long as you wear something that isn't too revealing. Uh, of course, just something fun and just lounge around in your pajamas, eat pancakes, and watch cartoons of the morning. And then, of course, come down and visit the exhibit once the museum opens at 10 o'clock in the morning. So we think that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we'll have various other activities and such. Folks can go to our website at thehistorycenter.org to find out other information about things that we have going on. But it's such a fun exhibit, we thought that would be a great way to introduce people to the exhibit and just enjoy the fun of watching cartoons of a Saturday morning. And is the exhibit an extra cost, or is this included with the price of admission? This exhibit is included in price of admission. Uh, we're $15 for adults and $13 for seniors, and it includes the entire History Center, that, that admission fee. There's no special price for this exhibition. So I'm about to turn my hand at adding sound effects to this animation. One of the things that you can do here at the Warner Brothers exhibit is to actually do a little bit of animating yourself. So I'm going to give it a whirl and we'll see how this goes.
there it is, the Orange County Regional History Center. The exhibit here runs until March 23rd, so you all are going to want to make sure that you get out here and see it for yourselves. That's all, folks. The next time you plan a Disney vacation, book with a travel agency that's been specifically designated as an authorized Disney vacation planner. Unlike some other agencies, many of our agents' exclusive knowledge of Walt Disney World can help you get the most out of your vacation. And the assistance of our travel professionals can help you get a customized Disney vacation that's just right for you, your family, and your budget. Start planning your magical vacation today by visiting mousefantravel.com. So, Jenny Lynn, can you take a look at this big map of Bush Gardens and tell me where we're at right now? Well, it's a shot in the dark, but uh, I'm going to be going with here. Oh, yes, that's right. We're outside the Timbuktu area where the new Falcon's Fury attraction is going to go. Yeah, oh, by the way, Banks, yeah. Bush Gardens offered us a tour of the Falcon's Fury attraction. I oh. think you should go. Really? Yeah. Wow, that, 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 that's cool. Thank, thank you so much. Wait, hold on a second. It's not even open yet. Wait. No. Is there still construction going on? Yeah, but don't worry, you'll get a hard hat and everything. I don't know about that. It sounds kind of dangerous. I, I, I don't think I want to go. Well, well, I don't want to go. Well, somebody's got to go. Oh, Patrick! I'm standing outside the old entrance of what was Timbuktu, now becoming the new land of Pantopia, featuring its main attraction, which is Falcon's Fury, the tallest freestanding drop tower of its kind with a twist. So let's go check out some of the progress. It's a lot bigger when you're standing right at the base of it. Everyone's asking, what is Pantopia? Well, Pantopia is a place for travelers to come through, take rest, take refuge, and share stories and art of their travels from around the world. Pantopia um, has doors, locks, and keys because travelers can come to Pantopia, select a key here at the East Gate, which is where the key master lives, and they can open any door inside of Pantopia and stay for as long as they want for free. And all they have to do is share the stories of their adventures and create art around them. Um, guests really won't be opening doors, but that's really the backstory of the of the attraction as a whole. So what you're looking at is um, the, the flavor and texture uh, influences for Pantopia. Uh, Pantopia is not only full of like this amazing, crazy thrill ride, this face down, 335 feet uh, adventure of Falcon's Fury, but it's also a brand new world that we're building here at Busch Gardens Tampa. And inside of Pantopia, you'll see all these different textures, colors, and flavors and influences of animal stories and architecture, design, and culture from around the whole globe right here at the heart of Busch Gardens in Pantopia. Behind me is the Timbuktu Theater. In the 70s, it was actually a dolphin show, if anyone wants to remember back to those days. In 2003, we converted it to a 4D theater where the seats would vibrate and water would be spritzed on you and you watched the movie. But now we're converting it to a show, Pan Pantopia Theater, where we'll have a, a critter show in there. So dogs and cats and other exotic pets will be in there and we're closing the one down in the bird gardens. Well, if you ride Falcon's Fury, you'll experience something that's unexpected. Uh, we actually built a prototype of the seat and we tested it. And when you're sitting in that seat with your back firmly against the back and the harness tight, when you're brought back, you kind of scoot forward a little bit. And in that brief moment as you're scooting forward, you will think about your entire life. <laughs> It was I worthy, you know, did I, should I redo anything? All that will happen in about a half a second. And probably the screaming will begin right about then. What you'll do for the ride experience is that we've got 32 seats in an octagon fashion. Each set of seats is in a row of four. You'll get into your seat, much like this one right here. You'll strap in, we'll take you up to the very top. It takes about a minute for you to get up to the very top. You'll get the great views as you're up there. And then, that, that's when the intensity starts. You know, your heartbeat will be start going, but then we'll rotate your seats. 
will rotate you 90 degrees, so you're looking straight down at the ground, nothing else below you. Nobody's ever done that before, and, and, and a great example of the way it'll tilt you would be if you've ridden Manta over at SeaWorld Orlando. So that, that really just pulls you back. Similar experience, just 300 feet up in the air. <laughs> so it'll be uh, qu quite thrilling. And not only if that's scary enough, or intense enough, or fun enough, we wanted to plus it up by holding you up there for a random amount of time. We're not gonna have a five second delay or forcing delay, it's gonna be random. So it may be one second one time, it may be three seconds one time, but you're never going to be able to guess how long it's gonna be. So we're not gonna give you any notification, we're just gonna drop you. As you're falling, we'll be dropping you. You'll, you'll fall for about five, five or six seconds of free fall. And as you're falling, you'll hit a pre-braking pre segment and that'll rotate back into the seated position before you hit the brakes. So it's about 3.5 Gs of braking force. And anybody who's been on an uh, intimate drop tower before know it's very intense braking. So that's gotta be in the vertical orientation for your body. So as you're falling, 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 dynamic motion as you're dropping. So 60 miles per hour, 3.5 Gs, it's gonna be a wild ride. So obviously I'm gonna be pushed straight against the back of this falling. You know, you wanna be as comfortable as possible, yeah. but we, we've actually tested this uh, over in Europe. We, we had a little rig set up where we rotated the seat forward so we could really see what that, that sense of that feeling is. And when you rotate, all of your body weight is actually on this large clamshell area right here. We want it to be very comfortable. We didn't want to have a lot of forces on your shoulders, but right across here. So as you're dropping, your, your back will actually come across the seat and the only thing going to be holding you up is this, this restraint system. Here. So as you can see behind me, there still is a little work to be done before Pantopia and Falcon's Fury opens, but I'm already starting to get nervous. Busch Gardens, while still in the Central Florida area, is a bit of a hike from the major attractions in Orlando, but this doesn't mean that you can't include the park on your next trip down here. Busch Gardens offers complimentary shuttle service from a large number of Central Florida hotels. This service is free to anyone who has purchased a ticket to Busch Gardens for that day. Reservations are highly recommended and can be made through BuschGardens.com. Are you heading to Orlando? Don't pay full price for your theme park admission tickets. Undercover Tourist ships the exact same tickets straight to your door for less than gate price. All tickets are new, authentic, and backed by one of the best refund policies. Add on your car rental and save up to 50% on your vacation package. Find the best day to visit each park along with other insider tips and planning tools at UndercoverTourist.com. Visit UndercoverTourist.com and buy your tickets today. We're currently outside Bush Gardens Animal Care Center. Now this place really has it all. There's a nutrition center, treatment rooms, clinical labs, viewing areas, and more. And it needs it all to care for the more than 12,000 exotic animals that call Bush Gardens home. It's also the home base for the new TV show, Wildlife Docs. That's right, and if you can't make it out here to see this awesome place for yourself, definitely check out the show. Yes, now actually in the past couple of months, Bush Gardens has introduced a behind the scenes tour of the Animal Care Center, which we took part in earlier today. So check out these highlights. All this talk about Bush Gardens humanitarian efforts has really inspired me to do something nice too. Like our giveaway. Well, if you insist, make it rain, Jenny Lynn. Our very lucky winner from last week's commemorative coins giveaway is Brian Martzoff. Check your YouTube inbox for a message from us. Now this week's giveaway is graciously provided by Bush Gardens and this is awesome. Y'all aren't ready for this. It's not one, it's not two, it's not three, but four 
tickets to Busch Gardens right here in Tampa. To enter, just subscribe to our channel on YouTube and post a comment below this episode. We'll choose one person at random from the comments. Only one comment per person, please. And you need to post it by the end of next Tuesday, February 11th, 2014. Now, finally, we want to thank Mouse Fan Travel. Let them plan your next trip, whether by land or sea. For a free quote without obligation, visit mousefantravel.com. And much thanks to Theme Park Connection, where you can buy, sell, and trade theme park items. Visit the showroom in Orlando or online at themeparkconnection.com. We're also thankful to Undercover Tourist, our recommended supplier of discount tickets to Orlando's attractions. For more information, visit undercovertourist.com. Remember, you can watch a brand new episode of the show each week. You can also follow us on Facebook and on Twitter. And don't forget attractionsmagazine.com for news and videos throughout the week as well. And of course, the magazine itself, our winter issue and past issues are available right now. Good times this week at Busch Gardens. Definitely. We want to thank everyone here for hosting us and showing us around the park. It's been so much fun. Wait, how did we get in front of the Shikra? Gee, I'm, I'm not really sure. That's... That's strange, but you know, as long as we're here, I mean, why don't nice we Nice just... try. I'm going to keep my eye on you and your sneaky way of how, get, how you got me here. Who? Me. Don't try that innocent face. I invented that innocent face. Yeah, well, I learned from the best. That's right, you did. Well, with that, we'll say thanks for watching the show. And we hope you'll join us again next week. But until then, visit your local attractions, try something new, and stay safe. But most of all, have fun. fun! Now, about that front row ride. No, it's not happening, Banks. There's absolutely no way you're getting me on this thing. I told you I am not getting on that at all. Oh, come on, Ginny Lynn. You've ridden this before at no, night. No, there's no way. I have. I know I've ridden it before, and it was a terrifying experience. Once is enough. We don't need a do-over. Oh, come on. I know you can do it. I mean, look up. Look at those guests. Look how happy they are. They're smiling. They're loving it. Screams of joy, Ginny Lynn. <laughs> right. Screams of joy. Okay, well, I tell you what. How about I go ahead and fulfill my promise. I will ride it. You just wait right here. Um, I'll be right back. I'm going to ride this ride. Why are you running, Ginny Lynn? I'm about to die face. <laughs> Which is a song and dance show that you can... Earlier today, so check out these highly. Highlies, almost. Highlies. <laughs> so check your YouTube inbox. Not an inbox or an intox. We're talking about inbox. Make it rain, Ginny Lynn. Our very last, not our very, huh. Our very last winner. <laughs> yeah, I mean, with a little, with a little new, little maybe. <laughs> and this one has... Now that is actually parasite eggs. I was going to say, this one looks like big yellow blobs. <laughs> I would, I, I'm going to be the second opinion and you say they earn. are yellow blobs. <laughs> yes, yes. You can earn. <laughs> <laughs>